White stem pak choy. Yes, this is a member of the brassica family. This is a cool weather crop right here. Loves cool weather. This is day one of the growth cycle. And now we're on day six. Now I planted two seeds and two seeds germinated. So now I'm going to transplant it inside of this soil panel here. And I'm going to let them compete to find out which one of these pak choy seedlings has better genetics. Which one is going to grow better? Now day 21 comes around. And now I'm observing it. We can obviously see one of them has outgrown the other. So the one that has a small one, boom, he has to go. He, I have to eat him. No plant goes to waste. And now I'm observing the plant and I'm looking. I can see that there has been some bugs that have come through and had a, um, a late night special on the seedlings. So I'm checking it out. And I, they, they've done an eat and run because there's no bugs left. I took that seedling and I'm transplanting it into one of the NFT units. And I'm going to let it grow here. Now, this is day 38. This is another seedling that I planted the same exact day as the other one. I'm putting some um, safer organic OMRI certified product on the leaf because there's been some bugs that have been attacking. It's the same thing for this one. You can see that there's bug bites on the plant. Now, you can be a biscuit headed aquaponist if you want and not put any pesticide on the plant. You're going to be showing up to the farmer's market with holes in your plant. That's what's going to happen. Now, I'm just spraying on the uh, bottom of the leaves, spraying around. Um, on the plant, making sure it's nice and taken care of so there's no more bugs that are going to bother this plant for the rest of the grow. Now, here's day 44. Day 44, yes. That lone one plant that the bug been chewing on is getting ready to die. Now, I want you to take a look right smack dab in the middle. You can see that there's a dark green pigmentation versus the outside leaves, which are a lighter pigmentation. This was due to a nitrogen deficiency and a magnesium deficiency. The nitrogen deficiencies oftentimes display this dark green newer growth and lighter green older growth um now this is day 44 over here with the same crop on the sole wall yes you can see that there's some bugs that have been attacking from the top eating and running yeah the memo must have got out that brooklyn st michael was coming through with organic pesticide and all the bugs just scattered out one of the bugs was like there you go right there with that bottle in his hand we know what that means and then boom, plant pest retreats. See, I'm over here tearing stuff up now. It's like playing Call of Duty. Day 53. Yes, now we're at the final destination. This is harvest day coming out of the NFT. Look at that. Boom. We have us a nice pak choy. Nice pak choy. Those are our roots. We owe them a round of applause. They have uptaken all of the nutrients that the plant needed. Now, this is the day um the harvest day on the soil wall we're gonna see how this plant did how this pot choy did i'm taking scissors cutting off the root because it's stuck inside of the system so i'm gonna cut it out then i'm gonna take that out later on then boom we see that we have a nice green pot choy now look who we have on the leaf right here look, look who came to play one of our snail buddies it's been about 10 days since the last pesticide spray has taken place so at that time, after 10 days, now the plants are able, or the bugs are able to come back because there's no residual pesticide, um, enough, not enough in concentrations for, for, to, for them to be harmed. So we have us a good product at the end, the Pak Choi, Pak Choi. It grew well in both systems. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Toodles.